So our arteries and, and veins in our body, they're all, they all have many different layers. And the inner layer is covered by these very tiny specific cells called the endothelial cells. Mm -hmm. So the, the uh, total amount of these cells in our body is called the endothelium. They are more than just cells. They actually produce a number of uh, hormones and, and factors that actually keep our vascular system in check and keep our vascular health. They enhance vascular tone, they prevent blood clots, and they prevent uh, development of vascular disease. So the dysfunction of these cells and the dysfunction of the endothelial layer is thought to be the very first abnormality in the cascade that will eventually lead to plaques and uh, uh, cardiovascular events such as heart attacks and strokes and so forth. So it's very important to try to then discover what are the factors that lead to the dysfunction of these cells, or in other words, endothelial dysfunction, um, to then help us prevent the disease from happening. So what we found, this was the first study of its kind, uh, we studied 521 patients from the community. Most of these patients were hypertensive and they had high blood pressure, mainly because they belonged to sip ships of, of people with high blood pressure. Uh, otherwise, they did not have any other history of uh, heart attack and stroke or any other cardiovascular disease. So what we found is that on average, after eight and a half years, there was only, on average, just a mile of weight gain in the whole group, just about half a kilogram, mm -hmm. but there was truly a, a widespread. There were people that lost as many as 46 kilograms and other that gained as many as 35 mm -hmm. kilograms. And when we actually look at the associations of the weight change with the function of the endothelium, we found that the people that gain weight, people that gain fat, and people that increase the size of the waist, had a worsening of the function of their endothelium down the road. Uh, when we then split the patients into the categories of weight gain, it was truly the ones that tend to gain more than 10 kilograms in the eight and a half weight, uh, year period mm -hmm. that had the worst deterioration of the endothelial function. Mm -hmm. And this is very important because again, once the atherosclerotic process begins in the arteries, once the, the whole cascade of the formation of plaques begins, it is much more difficult to stop it. So truly, it's truly important to try to identify things early so we can prevent it. So what we're finding is truly that uh, weight gain does not help at all. In fact, the people that were able to maintain weight despite aging had an improvement in, the, in their endothelial the function down the road. And, and uh, it, is, uh, it should help us understand that better, and it should be important for both patients and doctors to reinforce the message that maintaining a healthy weight and trying to avoid the weight gain that many times comes with aging is very important to prevent disease.